Chapter. The Pharmacy Technician. Key Terms. Scope of Practice. What Individuals May and May Not Do in Their Jobs. Technician. Individuals, who are given a basic level of training, designed to help them perform specific tasks. Confidentiality. The requirement of healthcare providers, to keep all patient information private among the patient, patient's insurer, and the providers directly involved in the patient's care. Competent. Being qualified, and capable. Certification. A legal document, certifying that an individual meets certain objective standards, usually provided by a neutral professional organization, such as PTCB or NHA. Registered Technician. A technician, that has been registered with the state. Licensed Technician. A technician, that has met the state requirements for licensure, and has been issued a license by the state. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act or HIPAA, a federal law that requires pharmacies to protect patients' privacy. Key Concepts The Professional Pharmacy Technician Pharmacy technicians perform essential tasks that do not require the pharmacist's expertise. Pharmacy technicians work under the supervision of a licensed pharmacist, who is legally responsible for the performance. Specific responsibilities and tasks for pharmacy technicians differ by setting and are described by each employer through job descriptions, policy, and procedure manuals, and other documents. Having technicians perform these tasks gives the pharmacist more time for activities that require a greater level of expertise, such as consulting with patients. What individuals may or may not do in their jobs is often referred to as their scope of practice. Most pharmacy technicians are employed in community pharmacies and hospitals, but they are also employed in clinics, home care, long-term care, mail-order prescription pharmacies and various other settings. Hospitals and other environments have specialized technician jobs that require more advanced training and skills. Personal Standards Pharmacy technicians are entrusted with confidential patient information, dangerous substances, and perishable products. Drugs, whether prescription or over-the-counter, can be dangerous if misused, and mistakes by pharmacy technicians can be life-threatening. Pharmacy technicians routinely perform mathematical calculations in filling prescriptions and other activities. Pharmacy technicians must learn the specific pharmaceutical terminology that will be used on the job. Pharmacy technicians must be able to communicate, cooperate, and work effectively with others. Training, Competency, and Certification Standards for pharmacy technician training and or competency are established by the state boards of pharmacy. Regulations vary but most states require some form of technician training. The American Society of Health System Pharmacists or ASHP publishes a model curriculum for technician training that is used by more than 240 institutions in the United States. Although certification is mainly voluntary, many states recognize national certification and some require pharmacy technicians to take the PTCE EXCPT, or other exam approved by their state board. The CPHT designation, Certified Pharmacy Technician, is good for two years. It verifies an individual's competence as a technician, and indicates a high level of knowledge and skill. Registration, certification, and licensure requirements vary state by state. Communication Communication is an important part of teamwork in a pharmacy. Communication can take place in written, verbal, or nonverbal forms. Communication takes place with patients and their representatives, as well as other healthcare professionals. Medication safety. 
Preventing medication errors is an important goal of every pharmacy. Pharmacy technicians play an important role in preventing medication errors. Overview Pharmacy technicians perform essential tasks that do not require the pharmacist's skill or expertise. Specific responsibilities and tasks differ by setting and are described in writing by each employer through job descriptions, policy and procedure manuals, and other documents. Pharmacy technicians work under the direct supervision of a licensed pharmacist who is legally responsible for their performance. Having the technician assist the pharmacist frees the pharmacist for activities that require a greater level of expertise, such as counseling patients. Scope of practice refers to what individuals may or may not do in their jobs. Like pharmacists, most pharmacy technicians are employed in community pharmacies and hospitals. However, they are also employed in clinics, home care, long-term care, mail-order prescription pharmacies, and various other settings. Pharmacy technicians are entrusted with confidential patient information, dangerous substances and perishable products. Drugs, whether prescription or over-the-counter, can be dangerous if misused, and mistakes by pharmacy technicians can be life-threatening. According to HIPAA, pharmacy technicians are legally responsible for the privacy and security of protected health information, or PHI. Pharmacy technicians routinely perform mathematical calculations in filling prescriptions and other activities. Pharmacy technicians must learn the specific terminology that will be used on the job. Pharmacy technicians must be able to communicate, cooperate, and work effectively with others. There is no federal standard for pharmacy technician training or competency. However, there are state and employer standards that must be met. In the United States, the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam, PTCE, and the Exam for Certification of Pharmacy Technicians, EXCPT, are national exams that lead to technician certification. Good communication is an important part of teamwork. Taking time to communicate relevant information in the pharmacy is important. Preventing errors is an important goal for every pharmacy. Pharmacy technicians play an important role in preventing errors. The National Coordinating Council for Medication Error Reporting and Prevention or NCCMERP defines a medication error as any preventable event that may cause or lead to inappropriate medication use or patient harm while the medication is in the control of the healthcare professional, patient, or consumer. To help prevent medication errors, the NCCMERP recommends the following. Prescription slash orders always be reviewed by a pharmacist prior to dispensing. Product inventory be arranged to help differentiate medications from one another. Labels be read at least three times. Pharmacy staff should triple-check replenishment of regular medication stock or automated dispensing machines or cabinets to ensure accuracy of product and precision of placement before the product leaves the pharmacy. Pharmacists counsel patients at the time of dispensing.